Hey everybody, welcome back to another video. I'm Mike B, and today we're gonna to be going over uh, my recommended and trusted military surplus firearm and ammunition dealers. And then I'm gonna talk about some of the ones that I don't endorse or trust and I can never get behind them. So the first one we're actually gonna go with is um, AIM Surplus, all right? I talk about these guys, I get a lot of stuff from them, unfortunately for me, good for them. Uh, my most recent purchase was this Chinese Type 56 SKS that was sent to Albania. You can see the multiple videos on that if you look at my channel. Um, overall, great stuff. They like, they really actually care about their military surplus firearms and stuff. They know how to grade them. They're fair in their pricing. I mean, it's recently, it's, it's been keeping up with the trends of being really high for surplus, but I, I understand why they have to do it and I'm not knocking them at all. Um, so yeah, I mean, I've gotten, Jesus, I've gotten so many guns from them. They have uh, police trade-ins too, which is the second best thing to military surplus. I mean, at least this thing is New York Department of Corrections. It's a uh, Smith & Wesson Model 10-6. And this thing is just a beautiful little, little handgun, little revolver. Uh, they've got, let's see, let's pull some randoms at LEO trade -in. Right now, actually, at the time you're making this video, they have the Glock 17 Gen 2, which is actually one of my favorites. And I got this a couple years ago from them, a uh, chipped grip. It's got a little piece of plastic out of there and it was like $50 cheaper than whatever. And it's a Glock handgun. LEO trade-ins are great. AIM Surplus has a lot of them. And I stand behind their customer service 100%. I've actually never had an issue, but I've heard a couple people that have. And they're always really good at dealing with um, problems that may come up. Uh, sometimes shit just happens. and. Their class acts, they really stand behind their their products and their service is just, yeah. I have nothing, nothing, nothing but good things to say about them. I've been a customer for about 10 years now. Um, yeah, so AIM Surplus is going to be uh, a highly recommended place to get military surplus firearms. And sometimes they have ammo. Uh, magazines, they also have good deals on that. My, uh, my second choice is a, um, also... A, Pretty good friend of mine, but uh, the Mosin Crate, right? So Alden Jones down there, he started this business about five or six years ago, um, full time. And he is also a class act, stands behind his products, knows what he sells. Uh, his prices are actually really fair. Um, sometimes they're lower than AIM surplus. No offense to you guys, AIM, but uh, Alden kind of, you know, he, he can afford to go out and get the, the little stash that's out here and, you know, bring it back. It's just him. He doesn't have a huge company to run. So because of that, he's actually able to grade stuff, inspect things. Not, he's not a gunsmith, so he doesn't like inspect you know, for the safety and all that shit. But he inspects like the, the quality, the markings, the condition, and then prices it appropriately. Really good prices. I've gotten way too much stuff from him, too. Um, but one of the latest things is this H&K USP 45 police trade-in. So as, as well as AIM Surplus having police trade-ins, Alden is starting to get them. Thank you, finally. Um, and he prices them very fairly too. This was a really good deal. I mean, I, I basically stole this thing from him, but, uh, yeah, and he's a small business and AIM Surplus is technically a small business, even though they're, you know, they employ a lot of people and they make a decent amount every year. It's still nice to not support, you know, massive, huge conglomerates and stuff. So both small businesses. Um, and my third choice is actually, I haven't bought from him for a couple of years. But again, a class act, and um, I stand behind his um, products and everything and what he sells in his service. It's uh, Dennis Crow at Empire Arms. And uh, yeah, I, like I said, I got my LaBelle 1886-93 from him a few years ago, and there was a snafu with my credit card. It, for some reason, didn't go through, and then it locked it and whatever. And there was a bunch of people in line to get that rifle, but I, I claimed it first. And he held it for me, made sure, you know, he... We were on the phone for a little bit and we got it straightened out and now I have that piece forever, which is so cool. So anyway, Dennis, again, he's, the prices are increasing and it's not necessarily his fault. It's just what he has to pay for it and he has to, he has to get a certain amount for it. Um, but besides that, his service is amazing and uh, I highly recommend getting surplus firearms from Dennis. He finds the weird ones too. So those are the three uh, firearms specifically dealers that I would recommend. Now, where I get my ammo and uh, most of my military surplus ammo is from actually sgammo.com. Uh, Sam Gabbert, that's the owner, that's why SG. Uh, they're a small business as well, located in Oklahoma, family owned, operated, and again, I've never had an issue with him. I've been buying for, you know, six, seven years maybe, 
somewhere around there from, from them. And uh, family owned small business, they do a lot of sales. I mean, they have a lot of volume, so they're not like, you know, myself and Alden small, but still family owned business. I do not mind supporting them one bit at all. Whenever I'm buying ammo, I always look there first and 99% of the time they have what I'm looking for. And the prices are just fantastic. Um, really, you can't beat their prices on ammo a lot of times and that's why I continue to go back over and over again and they always get really good stuff in stock. They they know what sells well and they, um, they actually listen to their customers and acquire the stuff. They once in a while get military surplus ammo in and they're really good at grading it. Uh, some of their stuff is like, it's like corroded or it's got like uh, tarnish on it. It's not like functionally bad, but they'll, they'll make sure they, you know, take a bunch of pictures and explain it in the description. So you know exactly what you're getting with the ammo. Uh, they have new made ammo as well in hard to find calibers. So you can get like Carcano ammo, Moss 36 ammo and 8x56, 8x50 Lebel. They've got they've got a pretty good selection of the obscure stuff as well as bulk uh, surplus and just bulk modern ammunition that's really good, like 556 and whatever. Now, so those are the four companies mainly that I get my stuff from and that I can I get behind and I endorse them and I will stand behind my position on that because it hasn't changed in a while. Now you'll notice there's a couple big ones on here that I cannot abide by and I cannot recommend and that's why every time somebody mentions them in a positive light on my channel I'm gonna have to delete the comment because I don't want any support going to these next two companies uh, first one's gonna be cheaper than dirt I know they've been around forever um, but again if you watched my uh, the whole reason the panic buying and the surplus markets kind of dead now video you'll know that in 2012 I watched them hike the price of um, AR-15 30 round magazine, I think they were new production, from $7 overnight to 70 just because they could. And I understand supply and demand and capitalism, I get that. And that's well within their right to do that, and people paid it, so obviously. Um, there were some comments that were on there that said that they actually stopped orders that were in transit and pulled them back so they could sell. I don't know if that's true. I do know that they, they hiked the price because I, I observed that. And you know what were they supposed to do just sell out and whatever and you know again they well within their right i know why they did it i just think it's a shitty move like that much you know the 1000 or what is it 500 or 1000 percent increase on there I, anyway so i can't really abide getting stuff from them because that was just a shitty move to, to the gun owners it's like it's screwing over your fellow um gun owners and all that stuff and again i know people paid it and i understand why they did it but i will never buy from them. I haven't. There's been some things that I wanted and I cannot recommend them at all. Now the next company you're going to be like, well, what about classic firearms? Absolutely not. We'll never endorse them. They screwed over a friend of mine so bad. I've never heard of anybody that was that small in business um, screwing somebody that helped them and made them a lot of money, screwing them so bad and just never never apologizing for it, even. not even a phone call of like, hey, you know, we're sorry, we, we shouldn't have treated you like that. Basically, I have a friend who get, get, uh, gave him a good lead, all right, on some older rifles from Finland, if you remember that, and they ended up making a shitload of money off of my friend, and there was, I mean, there's a lot more to the story, but I'm going to keep it very vague because I, I don't want to... I don't want to rat this person out and have everybody go ask what happened. But um, anyway, so my friend hooked him up with a lot of money and he just wanted a couple of the M39 rifles, right? And said, hey, would it be okay if I did this? And then, oh yeah, yeah, sure. Well, the source he got the M39s from said, oh, I don't like this person, so you can't deal with them or the whole deal's off. And so then Classic just cut off all communication and that was it. And even after the deal was done and they made their probably hundreds of thousands, if not millions of dollars, um, they still refused to contact. And um, then they, they they also wanted them to come in and grade the rifles and go through them because they didn't know what they were selling. I could never get behind them because of that. It seems like a company to me observing that um, they don't really know and have a passion for military surplus firearms. It's just dollar signs to them. And I don't like that. Um, that's why I don't endorse them on any of my videos and finally here I'm telling you why uh, and then even after that like the non-personal things I've seen and observed 
people posting everywhere that they order, you know, the hand pick option and they get a cracked stock or something like that. And it's just, I mean, it's stuff that's just kind of stupid and unforgivable. That's totally preventable if you know what you're looking at instead of having somebody working there. It's just viewing this as inventory and you know, whatever. So that's why I don't, I don't really personally like that. Again, they've had things that I really wanted to get. And I cannot get anywhere else, but I've passed it up simply because that's how I protest the treatment of my friend, their business practices and stuff. And it's not slander because you can observe this stuff. Go on gun boards, uh, forums, go on AR-15. Go anywhere that talks about classic firearms. You're going to get a ton of mixed bag reviews. A lot of them are going to be negative. Uh, some of them are very positive, right? I have never purchased from them because of the fact that this happened a while ago and I'm not going to give a company that does that to one of my friends my money. Um, so yeah, that, that's basically what happened to kind of describe that and you know answer a lot of questions. Everybody's like, why don't you like classic? It's because of that, right? And if people from Classic are watching, you know what happened that was really, really shitty to do. And uh, again, I'm not gonna name who it was or whatever, go into more details that happened, but that was a really shitty thing to do. And it just seems like, you know, again, it's dollar signs. You guys got huge because of this one deal. And now it's just, you know, this YouTube celebrity thing. And I'm just sorry, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna be um, shopping at your store. So anyway, um, yeah, thanks for watching everybody. I kind of went on a rant on that last one, but it's something I've been wanting to say for a while. But I also wanted to give a few businesses that I do 100% stand behind, um, small businesses mostly. And again, the, the last two are just from being shitty. It's really technically they've done nothing wrong or illegal or anything. It's just a shitty move. Like, I don't appreciate that kind of stuff. So, all right, I'll stop ranting. Uh, check out those four businesses that I do endorse and, and approve of and get my stuff from. I'll put the links in the descriptions. Um, hopefully I can do that. Might, might actually not be able to, but if nothing, I'll just Google. I mean, AIM Surplus, uh, the Mosin Crate, Empire Arms, and uh, SG Ammo. That's SG, Sierra Golf Ammo.com. And uh, yeah, so check those four businesses out. Take it what you will about those last two that I talked about and why I don't personally endorse them. That's what it is, my opinion. Good stuff. Let me know what you think in the comments. Uh, please consider supporting the channel. Many ways in the description. And yeah, I appreciate you watching. Check out the other videos that are up here on the end screen. And we'll see you on the next one.